I had so many questions about the episode 3 of Life is Strange 2 and you're going to hear them. I'm not a kid anymore. I'm just going In episode 3, at the end of it, believe it or not, there is no way that Sean and Daniel can die. One of them could get injured, but they can't die. Because who would you play as in episode 4 or 5? But I want more clarification. Depending on actions, are they dead? Is there any way they could die? Who was that person? Walking in the sequel ending, was we'll it the older brother? And is the police officer talking to the younger brother? Is there any way for Sean and Daniel to not end up in jail? Is there a way that episode 3 can go smoothly than I wish Lee uh, did? But you will find out when I upload. Um, Life is Strange 2 episode 3. But who really is that guy walking in the middle of nowhere? Is it the older brother? Is it some sort of stranger? Is it a flashback? Is it someone else? Or crazy enough, is it Finn? In episode 4 or 5, will the mother ever actually come to them? Or is the whole part of this game that you're supposed to go to them? So. If the whole goal about Life is Strange 2 is to get these two boys to their location in Mexico, does that stop now? Is that goal thrown out of the window? Because usually when you stay in jail, you're inside jail. There's no way for you to get out. And if, for say, that after that big, um, thing that happened at the last scene at episode 3. Did the older brother escape, but the younger brother did not? Or was it the other way around? That the person that was seen walking in the middle of nowhere is the older brother, and simply enough, he left the younger brother because he didn't want to get caught. Is the developers of the game going to go into a world like this where they want to try and make it as more realistic as possible where for most of episode 4 the brothers will just be in jail will that be a thing? or are they going to take it a different route and that might not happen did I as the player fail in my choices? because even though that what choices you make in the game is yours I still feel like I could have done better. I'm not a person to go back and replay it, but did I fail? Could I have made this ending much more easier as it was? I think the true thing I want to know is what exactly happened and where did the brothers go from the here? What happened? Are we going to see the end of their story soon? Is one of the brothers going to die in episode 4? I just want to know what exactly happened. Who's in jail? Who's that man who's walking in the middle of nowhere? That's what I want to know.